I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl, my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. So Aries, if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aries, which ones do and how they do, Aries, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Um, as well, Aries, I would like to ask if you do find some tarot cards that resonate, um, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step and give this video a like and subscribe, Aries, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it, Aries, when you guys take that extra step to do that to support me. And then finally, Aries, remember that I believe my weekly general readings, at least, are just here to give you some perspective, not making a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards. It's yours, right? You have to be the one, you have to be the one that lives with those decisions. So uh, with all that in mind, Aries, let's just jump into your weekly general reading. So uh, we'll start with your objective card for this week, Aries. Now, the objective card is the card, the energy that you're going to be exuding this week through the everyday events that happen in your life, Aries. So right now we have the lover's card. Okay, Aries, we have the lover's card coming in for you. My table is being wobbly, honey. Hold on. <laughs> Aries, y'all are my first ones um, of me, like, recording with my new, like, I just switched where I was recording <laughs> the position, but, um, yeah, so I'm getting in the flow, but continuing on, Aries, yeah, the lover's card for y'all, so what does this mean, this is, you know, I know a lot of people want to, and probably, probably will resonate with some of you, Aries, in terms of a person, actually, now that I'm looking at the clarifiers already, I know it is going to be about a person communicating with the person, perhaps, uh, Aries, but it also, I'll like touch on this part later on, um, but it also could signify that you're making big decisions this week. Now, for a lot of you, probably is going to be talking about a person, uh, making big decisions with the person, uh, moving on from people perhaps, or moving on, like transitioning um, in a certain way from people, or like, how would I, not away from people, but transitioning from a certain way of how you connected with the person perhaps. Um, Aries. So let me just show your clarifiers for your lover's card, Aries. So the three clarifiers that I pulled for you, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the King of Swords for you, and then Aries, we have the Two of Cups for you. I don't know why I'm looking as if I don't <laughs> know what they were, Aries, but in this dynamic, you can see what I mean by it. it seems like you guys are going to be having a conversation with the person, um, Aries. Now, the lovers, it, you know, I, I don't want people to just think this is only talking about the dynamic of like a romantic relationship, because it's not. Um, we, the lovers is just talking, signifying just like, um, I feel like more so just like the intimacy of the of the like the connection between y'all two. Like it could just be like a close friend, family member, right? It just signifies it's not just like someone just like uh, like in a work environment or something like that. Now, when you have this Two of Cups here with the Lover's card, I see some type of conversation happening. King of Swords does come in as well, uh, Aries. So this is definitely like. This is all about having like some type of, dare I say, like tough conversation or maybe like a tough love conversation happening. And with this eight of cups, now this is where it's just like for some of you Aries, it might be pointing like my optimistic nature doesn't want to see this as, um, <laughs> my optimistic nature Aries doesn't want to see this as a, uh, you moving on from a person, right? I don't want to see this as like you deciding to move on from them and just the distance between you. Um, but it does seem to be like you're walking away from some type of something that was like bothering you in this. So maybe for at one point, Aries, like maybe you had a connection with the person and um, just the way that they would always speak to you bothered you or like the way that they would banter with you bothered you. And so now you have like, it seems like this week you're going to be forced to have some type of confrontation um, to address things that have been bothering you to, um, yeah, just all in that nature. 
So let's continue on with this reading for you, Aries. We're going to start out with your star card. Now, so this is a really good card to have, just right off the bat, right? The star card actually is my earring as well <laughs> with the star card. Uh, the star card is the card of like wish fulfillment, usually. It is the card of um, going after like your dreams, essentially. Now, the thing with the star as well is where it's just like it kind of can feel unobtainable or yeah kind of unobtainable kind of like a star where it's just like sometimes you can see the stars when, and or well, maybe some of you guys can see the star like some of the stars where it's like sometimes like the stars can seem so bright that they're so close they can just go out and like reach for them but it's just it's just slightly out of reach right so it seems to be that kind of energy and the clarifiers that we pulled for your star card is the lover's cards following you Aries so definitely this is probably like definitely emphasizing some type of person um some type of action needing to be made like a decision is being made with this hanged man as well right a lot of major arcana for you nine of cups as well coming in for you now I don't talk about the inverted because this is all intuitive Aries so no need to fill your mind with extra details on things and then we have the king of swords following you as well so several cards right off the bat following you, Aries, like so early on in this reading. It's very interesting that it's these cards as well. So it seems like you're just taking action now, uh, Aries. With the star card, you're taking more, putting more effort, I guess, we'll say, into trying to uh, go after something that you've like felt deeply about or... Uh, it kind of feels like you're done sitting on being at the sidelines, I guess is what I'm trying to say with this. You're done being at the sidelines with some type of situation, right? So you're making the decision. I do feel like with this lover's card coming in twice for you, I do feel like this is something that's been hanging in your head for quite a while of where you're just like tossing around with the idea of being like, oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should talk to this person or maybe I should go out. Um, you know, it's just about that maybe, right? Because it's like deep down, you knew this would feel good for you, Aries, right? With this Nine of Cups here, it lets me know just someone that is just like, you're kind of, you're, you're aware of like the steps that you need to take to get to your happiness, right? But it's always just been at this place of indecision for you, Aries. It seems to be like this kind of mental battle with you. That seems to be like the major theme, theme here is just some type of either mental battle or some type of conversation that's been holding you back from just like, um, pursuing what it is that you want that makes you feel good with that nine of cups right Aries and then the hanged man comes in um to wrap all that up where it's talking about um just committing to it finally you're committing to like a shift of perspective um or you get a shift in perspective through finally taking action maybe you take action because something has happened a shift in perspective but I do see you taking action towards finally obtaining that star that always has seen that seems just out of reach for you but that you really wanted um and with of course the hanged man you see the sun behind them and so you kind of get the affirmation or at least the optimistic hopeful thinking that you see the light at the end of the tunnel that you end up um accomplishing something which you do aries you absolutely do so closing off this uh uh row for your uh, star card is the three of cups so this is the celebration card right you go from that two of cups initially right it's funny how these cards this is such a storyline panning out i feel like i'm reading like a storybook right now aries and maybe for some of you guys you feel like um you feel like you're in like some type of like storyline here because it just feels like some type of like progressive just being like okay like the main character does this and then this happens and this is the coming of age or whatever you know what i mean aries it's very interesting how this is um this is like all coming together so um this is kind of why i wanted to say when it just going back to my um initial fr uh spread with this uh, Aries, I didn't feel like you're like moving on from people, right? Because you still like two of cups wouldn't be here if you're just going to be moving on, right? Eight of cups, it seems like you're just growing, like you're moving on from a certain type of phase when it comes to a connection, being like you're upgrading in a sense with something. I feel like it's very much so like deepening or just like distancing stuff between you that just wasn't a service, but it's all in the betterment of going from that two of cups, like you progress from the two of cups to the three of cups right 
So in, in that scene, if we're going to go into the storyline with the specific tarot deck, right? So yeah, I don't feel like you're putting necessarily distance between people. I feel like you're just putting distance between, or like, yeah, I don't, yeah. You get what I'm trying to say, Aries. I'm so scatterbrained right now, I apologize. But I hope that makes sense for some of y'all. So now, Aries, let's get into your moon card. You know, we're following in this nature of um, major arcana for you. So just as like a tarot reader, when you observe this, you're kind of like, you can kind of identify being like, okay, when you see a bunch of major arcana, that person's going through something. And you, you Aries, y'all are having a lot of repetitive cards following you throughout the tarot decks doing more than what you can see right now you'll see what i mean as i progress in this reading but let's get some clarifiers on this moon card right what is going to be revealed to you what's going on here what is this progression let's see okay so here is the clarifiers that we have going on for you is the Two of Wands, the High Priestess, as well as the Justice card. So a lot of air energy involved in this situation, um, Aries. You could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, I only bring this up just because I know in your, like the past few readings I've done for you, Aries, air sign, King of Swords, Justice card, both of these cards have constantly been present, so I can't help but feel like you're dealing with an air sign. Um, so Aries, let's break this down. What does this mean? With this Justice card and the High Priestess card and the Two of Wands, it does show to me some type of situation that you kind of have like a gut instinct about. <coughs> deep thoughts here, right? Velka, you see the High Priestess, oh, deep thoughts. But what I mean by this is like, you have like, you kind of have an idea of like, let's say like, you have an idea of how you think your life will go, Aries. You think, you know, you have like this gut feeling about this project and you're just like, oh man, if I like put out this project, I know that's going to be like my breakout moment, that come out moment, right? Let's say you're like an author, Aries, and you've been writing this one book. <laughs> you've been writing this one book Aries and you're just like I know once I get this book published that's going to be the moment that I just that's like your coming of age moment that's what brings things into balance for you right maybe you've been in this place of struggle because I keep on seeing two pentacles in my head which shows like a trying to juggle a bunch of things and I feel like what brings things into balance where it's from that chaoticness to now once you put out that book that's when things start starts becoming smooth sailing because i am seeing a boat as well aries uh so this is kind of confirming to me that things are starting like you have an idea of how your life it's very interesting Aries. how you kind of have such a awareness of how things are going to pan up like you have a game plan and i feel like you're following in it or like things are just falling into that game plan right so it's very interesting to see it in that way when it's under the moon card because it's like the moon usually deals with stuff that's like unknown but you seem to be completely in the know of the areas of the sun so let's close off this row let's do the ten of one uh, all three of them i guess i say i guess because i heard that <laughs> um so the three cards that we close out with this row with your moon card is the ten of wands the knight of swords knight of swords air energy following you and four of cups so this has been your baggage is taking action towards this um areas it seems like you've had this up like certain opportunities presented to you consistently if you're going to be honest with yourself but you've allowed them either to pass you up or what has slowed you down aries is you whether it's like a confidence thing, it just is all about like some mental baggage, some mental, something that's like mentally weighing you down, I do feel like. So whether that's an insecurity, whether that's an anxiety, something just keeps being in your head of where it's just like, you're about to take that step and you're just like, oh, and then it just, you start shrinking. And I feel like you're coming out of it, right? Nine of Swords is the back of the deck energy as well. Anxiety. I feel like that is the thing for you. Sleepless nights, anxiety. Um, Aries, y'all probably haven't been sleeping for a hot biscuit, huh? So, let's look into your clarifiers now for your Three of Cups. Now, this is the energy of where, again, rep repetitive cards. So, this is almost just like we're getting into the detail of um, what it is that you're celebrating with this, right? We talk about the Moon card and things going in according to plan. Let's look into, like, what's this look like, right? How is, what is the details in this? 
Aries, you are going to flip when you see these cards. Maybe you're not going to flip and I'm just like a geek <laughs> when it comes to this, but um, mm. let's get into this, Aries. So the clarifiers that we have for your Three of Cups, Aries, is the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and then the Hanged Man. So when it comes to this Three of Cups, Again, it seems to be this sense of um, healing. You're finally taking action towards, like, I don't want to say healing because four of swords would be the healing card, Aries. But I do see, again, like, you're just moving on from the conflict. You're finally, it's almost like for some of you, Aries, you're finally learning how to just overcome not overcome no no yeah maybe overcome but you're finally able to dare i say this is going to be such a side story for some of you um what i'm getting is like a scenario aries where it's just like you've had anxiety about some type of person right some person maybe it's an air sign right because i keep seeing like all these air cards i'm normally not like this way aries and it could just be signifying all these air cards could just be signifying like the anxiety and like just the mental baggage that you have as well so don't Keep that in mind but it seems like you've had anxiety about a person let's just say a significant other for simplicity's sake right um you've had anxiety it's just like oh like this person is cheating on me or like oh this person doesn't like me right and that's been consistently weighing you down um and i feel like this kind of thing here where it's just like you really care about this person right you don't like you want to be with them but you can't get over like this something in your head about them and you're just like oh right it's just been bothering you and it does seem to be like you're finally overcoming this. Dare I, remember I said the lover's card came in several times for you, which signified to me initially that this has been going on for quite a while for you. This has been weighing you down for quite a while, Aries. Um, and then in the second pile, it talks about, you know, it's all talking about with this hanged man, a shift in perspective as well. I feel like I'm like cracking the case of like the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> um, but this right? You've been having the sleepless nights with it. You haven't enjoyed the thought of them not liking you. You haven't enjoyed the thought of um, them potentially cheating on you. And that's what's been weighing you down. That's what's been potentially holding you back from really being able to truly connect with this person. And then that would explain why this connection feels like the star where it's just like you want something deep with them, but it just feels so unobtainable, slightly just out of reach because of that um, Nine of Swords energy. And just like stuff that was holding you back mentally because of like the unknown, because you weren't maybe sure about how it is they were feeling. Because I don't feel like you have any like, it doesn't seem like, like there's no pentacles in here. Take note of that, Aries. There's no pentacles in here. So that leads me to believe that this is kind of just all in your head. Like, that sounds so insanely gaslighting, but it seems to be like, <sighs> you're overthinking nature and it's just like you don't really have anything of sub substance of being like okay yeah this person is cheating on me because of x y and z it is kind of like in your head and so it seems to be now shift in perspective like you're just moving on from it and able to just connect with them and i really with this theory of cups like it's just such a common theme of where it's like three of cups usually isn't that intimate energy well romantic energy so i don't feel like it's necessarily like a romantic person for all of you guys um, for the majority, it just seems to be like you're finally allowing yourself to breathe with someone now. You're finally able to just like see them in this different light, shift in perspective. Again, hanged man coming in as your final thing, final thing, final uh, card. So let's get some clarifiers with this. But a very interesting reading overall for y'all, Aries. I, I feel like it might have been similar to one of your last ones because I feel like you're one of your last weekly readings. Aries, you guys were like allowing yourself to open up to something again too. It seems like a common theme constantly for you, Aries. You're just starting to just open up. So let's get into this. The clarifiers that we have for your hanged man is the knight. Also, I want to point out, remember the sun that I showed you from before, Aries. So the clarifiers, knight of swords again, uh, the two of swords, 
and then the, the Knave of Discs, and then the card that tried to pop out right beforehand, Five of uh, Wands as well. So it's constantly talking about that conflict with that Five of Wands, right, Aries? And the Hanged Man, remember, this is all under the Hanged Man, so you're shifting from this perspective. Two of Swords, Knight of Swords, this is, and Knave of Swords. You're afraid to open your heart up to them. You're afraid to show your vulnerable side to them. Um, Aries, this has been such a theme of where it's just like you haven't really trusted them, right? You look at this card here, you embrace them, you've been connecting with them still a little bit, but like you've always felt the need to have this dagger. You've always been in your head with the Knight of Swords following you as well. You've been afraid of showing your heart, and I feel like you're kind of shifting and finally just realizing it's okay to open up to something, just maybe a situation, but it seems to be heavily like opening up to a person again. It seems to be like you're overcoming this distrust that you've been having. Um, because it does seem to be with that Four of Cups from before. I don't think I ever touched on this. Um, it seems to be that's what you needed to shift from. It feels like now that you're able to like open up to a situation again, your your path becomes more clear. So, very interesting, Aries. Yeah, um, that's the cards that I have for you this week, Aries. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, I did pull a weekly crystal card. I want to start doing this for people. Um, and so the weekly crystal card, if you guys have it, or if you want to get it, is Kyanite. It seems to be Kyanite is the stone that was most resonant of your energy this week, Aries, which makes sense, especially if you're having those sleepless nights. I know Kyanite um, helps with dreams um, and all of that, so definitely look into getting that or connecting with it if you already have it. So Aries, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also Aries, I do the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs each week. So if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, be sure to share my videos with them. Maybe they'll be into find my messages of resonance as well. But until next time, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.